Hi, we're Roy and Karen, and this is our latest shopping adventure from Lake Sumter Landing up to Spanish Springs. Absolutely. Number five. Uh, and this is the one I've been actually looking forward to the most because the other videos, we were pretty familiar with the areas. Uh, we were familiar with those shopping centers, but this one's gonna feel it like it's our first time. Yeah, we haven't been there since one time shortly after we got here. And it's over a year and a half since we moved. We, uh, we're gonna be going over this Lake Sumter right here. We're gonna be going over it over a bridge. And I think we've only done that one time before. We're gonna take you on some adventures today. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on. And we'll be using the GPS. Put your seatbelt um, on. You see that? <laughs> she loves me. She doesn't. I do love you. She, she wants me to be safe. And I know how you drive. Mm. <laughs> okay, seatbelt. 20 miles an hour. <laughs> you need it. It's important. What? Whatever. <laughs> okay. So we're leaving the Waterfront Inn's parking lot at Lake uh -huh. Sumter Landing. 1,000 feet. Turn right on Canal Street. She was picking it that way. That's okay. I can make a U-turn. Do what you need to do. You can go that way too. Uh, we're using the... Uh, we're using the Village's free app for for the GPS, and it's very hard to read. I like the little six ninety nine, seven ninety nine one. It's way way more easy to read. But here we go. So you're my navigator. All right, are we gonna ignore her and? Correct. Okay. So there's a group getting ready to take off with workmen transportation from Lake Sumter Landing. They're no longer doing the shuttles to the airport, they're doing tours. And there was a big group getting ready to go. That's so interesting. There's a lot happening here. It's new and different and the same and it's all good. So we're going right into the center of Lake Sumter Landing right now. Right over here is the actual square where they have music. Oh, okay. I love that car. And right over here is a place called Paradise Grills that we thought was a restaurant. And it turns out they sell grills. <laughs> Makes sense. In paradise. Go figure. Okay. Now she's with us. Good. So they're pretty good about grouping things together, the shopping together, the restaurants kind of together, the financial district kind of together. It's nice how these places are laid out. They got the barber shop right next to the rental car, next to the pizza. Uh, how how the does mails. that work? That's where they put all the new people. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think the rental shop is new. I think I may be using that rental car place soon. My employer wants me to spend a week in the office. In Orlando. In Orlando. They, they have a sister company in Orlando. And we'll see how that works out. I haven't worked in an office in three years. Not looking forward to it. And you've never been to the office for this employer ever. No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've never been to the company I work for. So interesting. Unlike me, who worked from home for how long? Now all of a sudden I'm going to the office every day right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Mortgages. Mortgages for villagers. 
Okay. You know where we're going? I do. Going Karen, to that turning lane. Karen knows every street in the villages by heart. Not exactly where she's going. I do have an, a gift of a sense of direction. I have a sense of time. I have no sense of place. I think we're going to be going onto the bridge right we now. Are. I think I see something right here. We are. Look at this. I went. Can't wait to see what it looks like with cars coming at you. <laughs> they, yeah, they're going to ten have miles fun. an hour. Oh boy! I There's wonder why. There's a reason why. for that. Because it's scary. Wow. Yeah. Whoa! It's all so noisy when the cars are going by like that. That's pretty this crazy. Is sunset point right in here. Yeah, we're gonna turn in here. Here we are. Here we are. So I get confused sometimes. This is Sunset Park. And there's a village called Sunset Point. And Sunset Point also has an amazing west-facing view with uh -huh. a water feature and a bench and really pretty. But here's Sunset Park, which is I, I a, think a stop you got to make more than once. Yep. Well, so far we've missed our friends that want to go picnic and watch the sunset here. This is a great place to watch the sunset gonna do it we're gonna do it one of these days we're gonna do it I think I'm gonna slow down good plan it's crazy narrow right here I don't know what the villages was thinking when they built this thing but I'll tell you what I, the new bridge the, the Southern Oaks bridge it is a lot wider than this. Mm -hmm. And there's separation between the flow uh -huh. of the traffic and the golf cars and, and the multi all path. of that. It's going to be a lot more comfortable. It's 700 feet. So this area right here is is the area we are the least familiar with. We've done it before, but it's been a very long time. You come out of that glare and there's a bumper in the middle and you can't even see it because of the change of the light. <laughs> yeah. Good to go slow. I was meeting one of the sales reps in an open house over here, a showcase on one of these homes beautiful view and it's like right here right next to Lake Sumter Landing and close to Spanish Springs and very central for shopping and restaurants and medical it's just there's all these areas that are just so well laid out by the way if you see the lake and all these ponds now they're completely filled overfilled we've That's had so much rain, rain over the last week or two but what I was going to say was we couldn't make these golf cart tour videos for the longest time because uh, the microphones that we had just weren't acceptable and the, the golf cart noise was just too much and the wind noise and all kinds of things. But now that we have these wireless microphones, we're able to do that. We're now able to make these videos for you. Well, the problem is we've been on so many on so many of these trails and areas so many times. They're just not new, and we don't have the same feeling about them as we would have imparted to you when we first got here. And that's why I'm so excited about this area, is because I don't even recall ever being here. There's Hope Lutheran Church. It's another uh -huh. one of the really popular, highly attended churches here. There's a lot of great stuff. Look where we are, honey. Yeah. We're on a bridge. 
going through the marsh. This is another one of those great areas, kind of like the, uh, the tunnel of trees. Mm -hmm. Being on this little wooden bridge here, I like it. That's Tierra del Sol over here. We're actually no longer on a multimodal path. We're sharing with the streets now on the golf cart lane. Another bridge, but I think that bridge over there is for the golf course. course. Yeah. Yeah. So I think th this is the area that before we ever came for our lifestyle preview, this is the neighborhood I thought that we would live in. Close uh, to Lake Sumter Landing, close, close to the to churches and shopping. Correct. And I wouldn't have minded it. If it got us here. But uh, it's, it's different. It's uh, a whole different thing. The, 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 the courtyard villas in this area, they're all, all the houses are on, are on an angle and curved driveways and, and a couple of hundred square feet smaller than the new ones. Okay, pause for a sec. I'm not sure what she said. Oh, they're right. Down Morse, okay. First thing, I'm looking at the map. So, uh, but the problem was that when we were looking, uh, pre owned homes, they were all having bidding wars and the prices were just going through the roof. And we could buy brand new construction, a bigger house, a nicer house with a straight driveway and a, a two car garage, two car instead garage. Of one and a half. Well, actually, ours is a one and a half. Ours, ours, is, ours is officially two. But is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for less money. For less money than we would have paid. Because in the villages, new construction is always less than the pre owned homes. Uh, and I understand why. I mean, we immediately did some landscape and added some gutters and we do so things. You, yeah. So people want to recoup the cost for those things in their pre owned homes. But what we also found out by buying that new construction and moving in with everybody else at the same time, we had such a blast getting to learn, getting, getting to know all Meet of our, our neighbors. neighbors. Yeah. Now we've told you guys lots of stories about how we met our neighbors, knocking on doors and things like that. You taking our Rio Grande? No, we're going. We're going this way. We're gonna go to the furthest spot. Let's not tell them where we're going. But we're gonna go to the furthest spot, and then we're gonna work our way back. This is actually gonna be an adventure because we're gonna take you to a place we're not sure we can even get to any shopping. We're gonna try, and then if we can't, we're gonna take you to where we know. You can go shopping. Okay, we're turning here. Do you hear what she said? Turn left on Lisbon Lane. Okay, we can do it. You guys following us? <laughs> You hear that? Here we are in Lisbon Lane. I like it when she takes us through the different neighborhoods and we can look at the houses too. And... So this neighborhood here is probably early 2000s. What do you think? Not sure. But all the sales reps know. Yeah, I'll bet they do. <laughs> Okay, we're on Panama Place. I know Panama Place takes us to shopping, but I think it's going to take us to a different place. That's, it's, that's it's, close. Yeah. I remember all these streets she's telling us to turn on to get to where I know they're shopping, but we're going to go right past it all. And 
Del Mar Place takes you right into Spanish Spring Square. Correct. One of them, there's several. So I think one car, we would have been fine with the, with the older courtyard villas and we had sold our car but I'm, I'm glad we have what we have. Oh, yeah. If we had two cars, I don't think that would work. Clear. Thank you, Mahan. Half a mile, turn left. I couldn't hear on what. Okay. She'll tell us again. You gotta turn somewhere. You can't cross that, I don't think. I guess you can. That cop car is. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Avenida Central. It's different. Oh, yeah. Now they're having a cruise in here today. So they've closed off the square. So I'm not quite sure what to do. We are on Del Mar Drive. I think we're gonna sneak around the back. I don't know. I'm going to go that way. Avenida de las Casas. There's a parking lot. I would go that way. It's oh. The bridge is on that side. That's where we're going to have dinner, right down there. Make a U-turn, then turn left. You know, when there's detours and they close streets and things like that, the GPS gets pretty messed up so and we get lost. We're on one of the lead-in streets to the square, but it's closed, so we're going to go that way again. And we're sneaking around the back side. They closed it off, I think, so people can start bringing their cars in for the cruising. See where we're going on the map. This is one of the few areas of townhomes they have here uh -huh. in the villages. There we go. Right in. Boom. Right there. So that's the sales center. I met someone there yesterday. Had lunch over here. It's just a neat, neat area. Is that the Sharon in front of us? It is, it looks like. We need to go there. We still haven't been there yet. Nope. This is some uh, detour we're taking here. Yeah. We didn't anticipate this. It's usually a little bit less turns. <laughs> but you learn how to navigate. I mean, what is it? You gotta get lost. It's just part of the whole thing. You gotta get lost. Okay. Continue on page place. Continue on page place. Pedestrians only. I think we're going. I think the bridge is right in there, but I'm not sure. There it is. Okay, we found the multimodal. Stop, stop. I see where we're going. Don't tell them. Don't tell them where we're going. Look how beautiful this area is, though. It is beautiful. Feeding the ducks, cool golf cars. Okay, look at this, my friends. Look at this crazy thing. <laughs> Elbows in. Okay, no hands outside. Hands and feet inside the golf cart. Oh my God, I thought we were gonna lose our mirror? rear view, our side view mirrors. And some people drive with their feet and their knees and hands sticking out. 
We're going you seven miles an here. hour on this thing right now. I wonder what that grade is. Oh my goodness. Hi. But this is the bridge that takes you over to the original historic district. Uh. So this is orange blossom and yep. silver lake and continental. No, continental. Scratch that. So if you haven't been here yet, here you are. This is a dog park right here. Some people, this is their favorite place. Mm -hmm. They love it here. Love the, all the water and it's spread out, the bigger lots and lots of trees. All kinds of neat stuff. So, some of them, some of the, the homes here are mobile homes. Some of them are from the 80s. Some, like this one right here, this one is a relatively new mobile home. So they replaced the old mobile home with a new one. And then in some cases, what they've done is they've just taken the mobile home down and, and have built, light built homes. Yeah. Just built a sticks and bricks house like this one right here. And some of them, I think they, I don't know if they never had a mobile home and they just built site built. I'm not sure, but it's an interesting area. Okay, so we're not, I'm going to stop the GPS. We're, we're not going to go, Paradise. we're not going to Orange Blossom to the Orange Blossom Country Club. What we're doing is we're staying on this road and we're gonna see if we can get to some shopping that we could see on the map straight ahead. Let's see what we can do. You're going on an adventure with us. We haven't got a clue what we're doing. We've never tried this before. Now we do know that some people manage to get to the Walmart, we have seen golf carts over there, but we don't think it's legal. And we're not gonna do anything that's illegal. If we can get there, we're gonna get there. If we can't, we won't. That's all she wrote. Schwartz Boulevard. It's Mr. Schwartz who started this whole thing. Yeah, when I was in the Spanish Spring sales office yesterday, they were telling me a story I met Juliet Langer, one of the sales reps, and she was telling me a story about how Harold Schwartz used to have an area there where they would have continental breakfast, and they sat down, he would sit down there and spend hours greeting villagers who came in to say hello and, and get their free continental breakfast. Like, what a lifestyle, what an amazing place. So that interrupting, that was taking you over to the medical center back there. Oh, is that where I'm supposed to go? I think so. I'm making a U-turn. Watch I was out just... for the car behind you. Yeah. The point right there. The street. I was distracted by the, uh, the siren. I thought maybe... Uh, I thought maybe the cops were going to pull me over. <laughs> But we're right off of 441. Uh-huh. We're not going to tell you what's over there at the 441. That, that comes later. We're going to surprise you with that, too. So go in there. Turn. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. Another adventure. Mm. The golf cart entrance. I know. This is very is strange. Going? Interesting. Very interesting. We don't know what we're doing. It, it registered you. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. It's just a slow process. Say cheese. I know. Cheese. <laughs> All right, well, we know Whoa. we can get out. Oh, something. So now we're in the back side of the medical center. Roy went to Citrus Cardiology over here to get Somewhere. checked out. All right, right, so there's, I see Da Vinci. These I are all medical back here. Yeah. I see uh, ear, nose, and throat. This is an annex of the hospital over here. University of Florida Health. 
foot care, dentist. Okay, so right here is Citrus Cardiology. Uh, my, my cardiologist is part of that group, but I go to the one in Brownwood. But it's nice oh, to know. So you can get into Wawa and get gas here. Ooh. Yeah, golf cart accessible. Ooh. That's good. This is an adventure, folks. That looks okay. like assisted living. We're, we're taking, uh, he came out that way, so it does go to BJ's, and it's yeah. not marked. We're gonna. We're about to find out. Here is the Wawa. Wawa. You can get gas. Get health care. Convenience store. Are you saying that Wawa offers health care money? Nope. I know they offer pizza. And I hear they have great sandwiches. Now here we are at the entrance to BJ's Wholesale. Are I they... see no signs that say no golf carts beyond this point. Nope, I don't either. It's a 20 mile an hour street, so we can do it. So you can get gas over here if you want, too. You can get gas Go here. Shopping. Uh, it's, I think it's the same price as the Wawa was, I'm not sure. But here's BJ's if you want to go shopping. Let's see how far we can go. How exciting is this? There's a bank over there. Two banks. Okay. And here's home uh, Lowe's, so home improvement well, centers. Okay. There's nothing saying we can't do this either. No signage that says, oh, I see a golf cart right over there. But it's a lot busier up here. But this is exciting. I didn't know we could get to a Lowe's by golf cart. I don't know either. We're going to keep on going. We're going to see how far we can go by golf cart. So we're paralleling 441 <coughs> on our cool. left. Bless you. How exciting is this, honey? We can take an hour and a half drive from the hammock. Uh, come over here and go shopping at Lowe's. It doesn't even seem like it was that long. It went so fast. Well, it was a half an hour so far from from, from the uh, waterfront in and Lake Sumter Landing. Yes. Wow! It looks like we can keep on going. Looks like we can keep on going. Let's go do it. Looks like we have some more shops and restaurants. Here's here's Bells. All right, I'm gonna take a drive down here to see what we got. Okay. Ooh, dry cleaners. Gotta have that. I see you. <laughs> Firehouse subs. Okay. Italian food. I see coconuts, which look says fish and, and games. games. I don't know what, mean, what that means. Maybe we should go in there. Smoke shop. There. Yankee Trails is a travel, travel agent. Car wash. Should we drive through the car wash? We've been in that car wash. I mean with a golf cart. I think maybe not. Okay, here's a Marco's Pizza and another Ooh, nail. Another Foxtail fox Coffee. Foxtail Coffee. Tropical Smoothie. Italian. It got everything. What's Takis? AT&T. What are you looking at? Takis. Oh, it's, it's a food. Greek Greek and Italian restaurant. We love Greek food. Oh, so we were on the back side of all of these places. Yeah. Latin Flavors Bar and Grill. So Coconuts is an internet cafe. Is that what it is? That's what their door said. Ah, perfect. Latin Flavors Bar and Grill. Cruise Express over here. I have no idea what that is. And more healthcare. No signs that say we can't go over here. So we're going. 
I can go for some little plastic surgery, get Say. a little nip and tuck. Say what? I love you just the way you are, man. <laughs> Health first, internal medicine. Botox. $8.99 for Botox. That's $8.99. There's a sign right out there. Okay. Another golf cart. We'll go that way. I think that we're going to be coming. I just don't know what these stores are right here. They, they are available, whatever they are. But we can keep on going. Oh, somebody just came around the bend yep. there. Let's see what we got. What an adventure. Here we go, another golf cart. Wow. How's that possible? I don't Let's know. take it. That's Aldi's. A golf cart accessible Aldi's. Right there, Very we just nice. passed it. Golf carts only. Think they'll let bikes and pedestrians? Well, it says only, honey. And they don't want you to go too fast. No, they got speed bumps on here. Let me fix that. Here we come to another store. Walmart. That's how they get here. All right, we made it to Walmart. Walmart is golf cart accessible up here. Wow. Walmart up on the end of Southern Trace is also golf cart accessible. Well, that's, believe it or not, that's the video they're going to watch tomorrow. And the neighborhood uh, market, Walmart neighborhood market, well, that's that also a, golf cart accessible. Right. So now it turns out all the, the Walmarts in the villages are golf cart accessible. We're going to keep on going and we're going to see how far we can get. I think we may get two videos out of this because this is just going to be too long. We've already been driving for 33 minutes. And we haven't even been to the ones we intended to go to. That person would like to go. Which person? The one that's bigger than you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get it back in the golf cart lane right here. How's that? I think you better watch out for these people. Okay. All right, well, there's, we're gonna keep on going. You can go to a Dollar Tree. Look, it says golf carts are okay in here. Sonic, Vape. GameStop, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Sally Beauty Supply. We're Everything going. Everything we can need. We're just going to keep on going. I am totally shocked. I hope all of you are just as shocked as I am. We did not expect to do this today. No. We expected to hit a, a sign that said no golf carts past this point. This is amazing. Well, this video has certainly taken a turn. Yeah. I think that's as far as we want to go. We really thought we were going to get on to Paradise Rec Center area and hit the end of the road. That we would come around the bend and that would be it. You just stay in the villages that are back there and that's as far as you could go. But no shopping, no restaurants, no medical, nothing. I had and no look, idea. We no had no idea. idea we could get to all of this stuff by golf cart. What an adventure. Yeah, we've been, we've been to some of these places before. By we car. Talk to people. Yeah, always by car. So I'm going to put a link right over here to our playlist of all our golf cart, shopping by golf cart videos. In the meantime. We appreciate you traveling with us. See ya.